hi everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, for our pre honor lesson for today. So I'm Arina, the application engineer at Cat System Penang Slimberhead. So basically today we will be um, covered on the types of ceiling model in Rabbit. All right. So uh, okay. All right. So today we will be uh, creating a few types of ceiling uh, that we can model customly in Revit. So there are a few types of ceiling that we will be covered, which is the first one is the plane ceiling, and the second one is the drop ceiling, and the third one is tree ceiling, slope ceiling, uh, beam ceiling, and the corporate ceiling. All right, so without uh, further ado, let us uh, continue on creating our first ceiling, which is the plane ceiling. So basically, these plane ceilings, uh, we usually can find in all types of buildings uh, because uh, this plane ceiling usually commonly used uh, by uh, in even in the residential or in the commercial. Okay, so let's go to our Revit. Uh, let's go open our Revit. All right. Mm. All right, so here first thing is that we need to do is that uh, we are going to create a new project. All right, so let's go and click this new button here, new project. So uh, I will be using the architectural template because the Ceiling command is um, basically on the architecture template, so we'll, we will be using the architecture template. And then click this project, and then we go and click on OK. All right, so, all right. So this uh, blanks, uh, this blank display will appear. So the first things that we need to do is that we have, we go, we go to the elevations because we want to define the, the ceiling. We want to define the the elevation from the level one to the level two. So I'm going to change this uh, distance between the level one to level two into maybe we go for three thousand five hundred. All right. Okay. And then you click on enter. All right. So the next we go back to our level one. So basically, to have the uh, if we want to fit the ceiling, we need to have uh, a wall so that the ceiling will be connected to the wall. All right, so we can go to our architecture here and then we click on the wall here. So I'm going to draw the, the wall using the rectangular tools, right? And then in this uh, properties here, we have the constraint. Make sure that the top constraints right here uh, is connected until level two, all right? And then let's start uh, drawing our walls. So we go here, uh, 5,000 times 7,000 maybe. All right, so we have our wall here. Uh, another, for another wall, uh, we just use the copy command. Then we click on this midpoint, copy a few, all right, again, highlight and copy. And then we go click on this multiple because we want to copy it uh, multiple times, right? Three, four, five, and six. Okay. There we have our um, walls. All right. For the first ceilings that we will be creating is the plane ceiling. All right. So we go back up, up here on the. All right. First thing is if you want to create uh, ceilings, you need to create it on the ceiling planks. All right. So in the project browser here, click on the ceiling plans level one. Okay. And then up here on the architecture tab, we have the ceiling command here. So go click the ceiling command. And if we go, uh, if we go and see here, we have two options to create the ceiling, which is the first one is the automatic ceiling. And the second one is the sketch ceiling. All right. For this uh, uh, sketch link, we will be creating it manually. For example, we have uh, our own shape of ceiling, so we can use the sketch ceiling. Right, for this automatic ceiling, uh, for the plane ceiling, I'm just going to use the automatic ceiling. I click on here, and then make sure that you choose this plane compound ceiling, 
and then the height offset from the level, let's change to maybe 3000. Apply. And when you bring your cursor to this wall, uh, you notice that we have this red line, which is uh, which is shows that we can create this automatic ceiling. But if we bring our cursor uh, out from the walls, so we can see here we cannot create the ceiling. So make sure to create the automatic ceiling. Make sure that you have these red boundary lines, and then you can just click here. And if you notice, uh, it looks like it, there is no changes here. So if you want to make sure whether you already create the ceiling or not, so you can go to this uh, 3D up here. All right, so there we go. We have our uh, plane ceiling. So I'm just going to change the graphic display here. We go for shaded. And then this one go to fine. All right, so maybe this graphic display, we can change the lighting. Maybe uh, increase the ambient lights, apply, all right, and then let it not okay. So we have our uh, plane ceiling here. All right, so for the second ceiling, is we are going to uh, create on the drop ceiling. So basically, this drop ceiling, we can usually find it in the office area. All right, so we go back to our rabbit share. So here, we go back to the ceiling plan, level 1. Alright, for the second wall here, we are creating the uh, the drop ceiling. Uh, again, go back to the architecture up here. And then we have the ceiling command, click on the ceiling. So for this time, I'm going to use the automatic ceiling again. And uh, on the drop down properties here, we can change it into the 600 and 600 millimeter grid. But we click on this one and then just go down here and then click on the wall. All right, so we have our drop ceiling right here. And if we go and see on our 3D, maybe I can change, I can highlight it first so that I can show you using the uh, selection box. All right, fine. And then I'm going to make it go slightly over here and there we go, we have our um, our drop ceiling. All right, let's go back to our ceiling plans over here. So maybe in the ceiling plan, you want to place uh, some, some, maybe you want to place some lighting, some light. So you can go on the architecture tab here. And then on the component, drop down this one, you have the place component. Click on the place the component here. And then on the load family over here, uh, you can go load the lighting from the families and then find the lighting and then architectural. So we are going to use the internal lighting. Internal and then this, uh, I'm going to use the ceiling light linear box. And then click on open here. And then here, uh, in the drop down properties here, we have two types of sizes uh, that of lighting that we can use. So I want to use this. Uh, 600 times 600 millimeter sizes of lighting so that I can have this uh, light uh, quickly into this our ceiling grid. All right, so let's place it here, 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 and here. All right, so let's go view on our 3D. And there we go, we have our uh, drop ceiling with the lighting. Okay, uh, all right, so next is we are going to draw on the, um, the third ceiling, which is the tray ceiling. All right, the tray ceiling is, uh, why, why, why we call it as the tray ceiling is that uh, because the ceiling, it looks like a tree. So basically, this tray ceiling contains uh, two layers, which is uh, the first and the second layers. All right, so let's go again uh, to our rabbit so that we can draw our tree ceiling. All right, again, I will go to the ceiling plans to draw my ceiling. All right, for the first layer, uh, we are going to use this automatic ceiling. 
So uh, let's uh, stay for high offset from the level, let's stay to 3000 millimeters and then go and hit from here. Oh, grab, sorry, um, I'm just going to undo back again and then make sure that you choose this plain ceiling and then you click on this. All right, so we're going to 3D. So yeah, we have our ceiling here. All right, go back to our ceiling fan. And then for the second layer, uh, I'm going to use the sketch ceiling command. All right, you go click on the sketch ceiling and then I'm going to use the rectangular tools uh, draw here, click here, and then uh, maybe the height, height of offset we need to make it go lower so that we can have the first layer and the second layer. All right, so change this one into maybe into for 2100 and then I go click on apply and then we start drawing from the end point here until this end point. All right, and then uh, again, we click on this rectangular tools and then change the offset into maybe we go for 400 and then click here to here. All right. Uh, if you notice the 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 ceiling that we draw is uh, out from our uh, walls. So to make sure that it goes into back into our walls, you can go and click on this space. On your keyboard and yeah click and then go and click uh, finish all right so we can go into our 3d up here and yeah so we have our nice uh trace here. okay uh, all right so for the next uh ceilings is that i'm going to you i'm going to show you on how we draw the slope ceiling all right so basically this slope ceiling is uh where uh, the ceiling have a slope and the slope uh, it is it's following the uh, rope slope so uh, we go back again to our rabbit okay in order to draw the uh, slope ceiling we need first to have the roof so in to draw the roof we have to go to the floor fence over here go and click to level two and then we will draw our slope ceiling. All right. Firstly, we will be drawing the uh, the roof. All right. On the architecture roof, the architecture tab here, we have the roof command. And then drop down here, we choose the roof uh, roof by footprint. And then um, I'm going to use a boundary line and choose the thick walls. All right. You can go and start drawing your uh, roof. All right, so I'm going to flip it so that the roof will cover also the walls and then click escape first and you highlight this one, this line and we go up here and undefine the slope so that this uh, this this line will not having the slope and only this, the left and the right side will have the slope so that we can have uh, this kind of uh, roof. Okay, and then you go click on the finish edit mode and we go into 3D. Yeah, here we go. We have our um, our roof up here. Okay, and then we go back into our ceiling plan, level 1 here. Okay, we are going to draw our ceiling slope. Okay, again, architecture tab, uh, click on the ceiling. All right. For this uh, time, for this ceiling, we are going to use the sketch ceiling. So we go and click this sketch ceiling and then maybe we can change it back into 3000 and click on apply. And I'm going to use this, uh, this rectangular tool drawing and then I go from this end point until this midpoint only. Alright, so uh to define this slope go the go and click on the slope arrow here and then i want to define this slope uh starting from here up until here all right for this uh slope arrow right here we need uh to add it some uh on the constraint properties here for instance we need to uh, change the height height offset at here we need to change it to zero and also, we need to change the height offset at the head. 
So basically now we do not know the height of set at the head, but never mind. Uh, we will measure that one. And then first you click on this apply first and you click on this edit finish finish edit mode first. Alright, so I'm going to to see uh, on the inside of the wall so that I can go and see the cross section of our model here. So we go to view and then we click on the section over here and then draw here until here. And then we go, we double click or you right click and go to view. All right, so we have here our ceiling, which is um, still not half the slope. So basically this one is the height offset at the tail and this one height offset at the head. So basically we want to know the height offset at the head so that we can have a slope ceiling over here. So the next thing is we are going to measure first from this uh, roof head right here until here. Alright, so we have here the distance is 1501.1. Alright, 1501.1. And then we go back to our level 1 here. And then we click on our ceiling here. And then go to edit boundary and click on our slope arrow. Alright, so at the height offset here, we change this one into 1501.1. And then we click on apply, and then we click on this finish edit mode. Alright, so we go back again to our section view here. And here we go, we have our slope, uh, slope ceiling over here. So we are going to use the mirror command so that we can have another side uh slope ceiling over or on this side so okay go back to level one here and then i'm going to click on this ceiling and go to go up here we have the mirror command and then click on this line and then so we already have the other side of the ceiling so we can go back into our section view and we have our slope ceiling all right so uh, the next thing is, okay, all right, so, so far, do you have any questions or any issues? Because uh, if you guys have uh, any questions, you can just uh, drop down on this comment section below. So at the end of this free online lesson, I will try to uh, answer your questions. All right, so we move on, on to the next ceiling, which is the the beam ceiling. All right. So basically, this beam, this beam on the ceiling is not acting as the structure element. So basically, it uh, acting as the decorations. So it doesn't uh, it doesn't appear or as the structure 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 beam. All right. So we can go back to our rabbit. All right. Click rabbit here. All right. For the fifth. Um, fifth, fifth uh, ceiling here, we are going to draw our beam ceiling. All right, so we go into the architecture tab. All right, make sure that you go to ceiling terrace level one over here. And then we go to architecture tab here, and then we click on this ceiling. All right, I'm going to use the automatic ceiling over here. All right, so welcome to... Uh, to everyone that just come in into our Zoom. Uh, so basically today we are go we are doing the free online lesson on uh, on creating six types of uh, ceiling that we can customly do in Revit. All right. So for the next uh, ceilings that we are going to create is the automatic, uh, the beam ceiling. All right, so I'm just going to use this automatic ceiling command and then high offset from the level is 3000. All right, so we can just click here. We're going to our 3D. And then here we have our ceiling, our frame ceiling. All right, so for the beam to be on the ceiling, uh, there are a few things that you need to note that uh, we, if we want, we want to place a beam right here, but we cannot directly uh, place on the ceiling. 
Instead, we have uh, moved, posted it on the slope grazing. So we need to draw a few slope grazing uh, for our model here today. Okay, we, we can go to the floor plans and then go to level two. And then we go to the architecture tab up here. And then on the roof, uh, roof by footprint. And then we choose the slope grazing. And then I'm going to use this rectangular drawing tools. And then I click on this endpoint until this endpoint. And then if you click escape first, click to queue a few times escape on your keyboard. And then you highlight this one. And then you uncheck the define slope so that we can have the flat slope grazing in order for us to place the big. All right, so I go click on this uh, finish edit mode. So if we go into our 3D, uh, we have here our slope placing. All right, so basically this slope placing is the host for our view. All right, go back to level two up here, and then I'm going to place the beam on this slope placing. All right, we can go to, all right, for the beam, we can go to this structure tab up here, and then before we creating the beam, we need uh, to load some families of the beam into our project first. So if we go click on this beam here, and we go drop down the properties, so we notice here that we only have only one type of uh, beam, which is the universal beam. So basically, we want to use the timber beam. So what, what we are going to need to do is that go to this load family up here, and then you click on the load family, and then you find the structural framing. And then you click on open, and you go to wood here, and here we have the timber framing, and then you click on open. So for this uh, model, I'm going to use the smallest uh, beam, which is the 114 by 114 millimeter, and then I click on OK. Alright, so we already load our uh, timber beam. All right, next, instead, uh, we are going to, to draw the, to create the beam on our slope grazing here. So instead of we use this uh, beam command here, I'm going to use the beam system. All right, so uh, why I'm going to use the beam system is that this beam system uh, will generate the, uh, will generate, will automatically generate uh, the, the beam system so that we can have a beam with a fixed uh, fixed distance between the other beam. Okay, so go for rectangular drawing tools up here, and then I go click on this one. Go from endpoint until here, and for the beam direction, uh, this beam direction is basically if you want to define your beam whether you want to. You want it to go uh, vertically, so you can just click from here until here. So your beam will your beam will go vertically, alright. If or if you want your beam to go uh, horizontally, so you can just click from here until here. So then your beam will go horizontally. Okay, alright. So for this model, I'm going to have the beam going maybe like horizontally, like this, and then. On this uh, properties here, we have the fixed. Uh, we have the pattern up here. So the layout rule. I'm going to use the fixed distance for the spacing between uh, one view to other view. I'm going to use uh, maybe we go for one thousand two hundred. All right, and this beam type. I'm going to use uh, the hundred fourteen to hundred fourteen that we just looked just now. All right. All right, so let's change this fixed spacing. I'm going to change it into seven, maybe 600 millimeter and then click on apply. And you click on the finish here. And here we have our beam system. So when we go into our 3D, so here we have our beam here. All right, so this beam uh, basically is hosted on the slope grazing. So we are going to transfer the this uh, structure beam to connect it to on our ceiling here. Alright, so what we need to do, okay, we go back into 
ceiling plan seven one here, and then again we have we need to have the section here so that we can go and see the cross section of our model here. And then I go right click and we go to view, and here we have our uh, structure beam system and our ceiling. So we want to move our structure beam system. Uh, below, down, and connected to our ceiling. Alright, so what we need to do first, we have to uh, measure first the distance between this structure beam and, uh, and the ceiling. So we have here 500 millimeter. Okay, we can click on the structure beam and then on the uh, elevation from lava, change to negative 500 millimeter and click on apply. All right, so here we have the we have our structure beam system connected to our ceiling. Now when we go back into our three D. All right, so our there we go. We have our uh, nice beam ceiling. All right, okay. This was it. All right, for the next ceilings that we are going to create is the. The corporate ceiling. Alright, so this corporate ceiling here. Uh, okay, to create this corporate ceiling, we need to create. Uh, we need uh, to create the corporate elements. We need to use the mullions. So in order for us to create the mullion, we need to add it or we need to create some uh few few families that we need to create. So. Never mind. Uh, let's go back to our rabbit. All right. So for the last, last uh ceiling, is that okay? Firstly, you go to ceiling plans over here, level one, and then here I'm going to place a ceiling, a plain ceiling first. So we use the automated ceiling and plain ceiling. So height offset from level we change into three thousand. And then we click on this uh, ceiling. All right, we're going to 3D. Yes, we have our plain ceiling right here. So, uh, same as uh, previous previous beam ceiling, where the beam must be hosted first on the slope glazing. So, uh, same as same as the beam ceiling, for this corporate ceiling, we need to have the slope glazing as a host to hold the corporate elements. Or the mullions. All right. So yes, we go to floor plans here, and then we click on this level two because we want to draw the slope building over here so that it will be the host for our uh, corporate elements. So uh, here in the architecture tab, we go into this roof tab and then go for roof by footprint. And then I'm going to use this rectangle uh, drawing tools. And then on the properties down here, we choose the slope basic. All right. Okay. All right. So let's draw our slope grazing over here. Over here. And then make sure that you highlight this one. And you undefine the slope so that we can have, again, the, uh, the flat slope grazing. Right, so I'm just going to click on this finish edit mode. So we go into 3D. So here we have our um our slope glazing. Okay. So for the copper elements, uh we will be using the mullion to create our copper elements. So in order to have the mullions, we need to create uh, a couple of families. So I'm going to go to this file up here. And then go to new and then create new families. All right. Okay, this new families here, I'm going to find the metric profile mullion. All right, right here. And then you click on open. So we are going to create uh, the shape or the profile uh, for the mullions. All right, I'm just going to uh, create that here. And then we go for this line and then click on this line and then we go and try and start drawing the profile mullion. 
right, maybe we go to 50 here and then go down until uh, 100 and then we go here until 10 10 and click all right so again create click and click on this line and then we go for this line again and from here draw to maybe we go for five five right here and change this one into the up shape so that we can have the up, up shape here all right right here then change back into this line then we go here to maybe 10 and then five here and right until here and then here all right so let's close our shape again create line and we go from this midpoint until here and then go down until here and then we have we close the loops all right for this line i'm going to use this trim command we just click on these lines and this line and then it will be trimmed automatically all right so for this one let's uh bring so that it, we, we can have a close loop shape of mullions all right so here we go we have our profile uh, mullion so this one i will this one i will uh save first as the uh we go and save on the desktop so that we can find it easily later so we go and change it into half um, profile millions. All right, and then we go and save. All right. So, uh, for this side, I'm I'm going also I'm going to have uh, uh the same shape as this one and into this side. So we can use the uh mirror command. Click on here. Click this shape first and then we go up here on this mirror command and then click on the mirror and we go click on this line all right so we have our full profile and then i'm going to delete this uh this line all right so here uh for oh, for this one we will be saving again as so save as family we will be saving as the full full for families. All right, everyone. I hope you can follow me, and then we click on save. All right. So, uh, after we already save it, then we can just click uh close this this profile, close first, and then go back to our project. So, in this project, uh, we are going to load first the family that we create just now into our project. So we can go into the insert up here. And then we go for this load family and then go to desktop because we already saved our uh, families on this desktop. All right, so find this four million and this four, four five million. I will just uh, select these two and then I click on open. All right, so first, all right, so we already load the families into our project. So uh, next is in this project browser down here go we go and find the families here so drop down the families and find the curtain wall millions and then we drop down the curtain wall millions i'm going to use the rectangular million because because my 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 ceiling will be a rectangular shape so i'm going to use the rectangular millions and then we click on this rectangular millions and we we'll right click and then we go click on this new tab so here I'm just I will just rename it into half half uh half millions enter and we double click here in here in this profile here we need to change it into the half profile million and then you can click OK. Alright, so again uh, right click on the rectangular millions new types and let's change the name into full corporate mullions enter and double click and change this one into uh, full profile mullion and then you click on okay so we already load our families 
our families that we just created into this curtain wall Mulian families. All right, so let's go to our level two. All right, and on this level two, you click on this look present. So basically, this look present will be the host for our copper element for the Mulian elements. So you click on this look present, and then you go to this to these properties and click on this edit button. So we edit that here. This certain panel we change. Okay, first thing you need to do is that you must duplicate so that uh this new this new uh maybe this new corporate uh on this loop raising will not override the existing slope raising. Alright, so I just give uh rename it as the corporate one. Maybe I change it into corporate ceiling corporate ceiling one and then click on OK. So for the curtain panel, let's change it into the empty system panel so that we will not be having the glass of the curtain panel. Okay. All right. So for this grid one, the layout here, we change into maximum spacing and change it into 800 millimeters. All right. So for the grid one millions. All right. So uh, the reason why we did uh, two types of Two types of profile of mullion just now is that uh, for the interior type on the ceiling, we are going to use the full corporate mullion and the for the border, for the ceiling, we are going to use the half corporate mullion, sorry. We are going to use the half corporate mullion. And then you click on the half corporate mullion and you click on OK. And here we go, we have our corporate elements on our slope basis. So if we go into the 3D, so we zoom a bit. So as we can see, this uh, position of our of our corporate elements is not right because we want it to go downwards. This uh this position we, we want it to go downwards instead of up upwards like this. So we need to change uh we need to change the the position first, all right. It's okay. Never mind. You can go here into the project browser, and then you just click on this uh curtain wall mullion. Choose again the full corporate mullion, and then this the position here change this one into parallel to ground, and then first click on apply first, and we we do not want uh, like this, all right. So we can change maybe we can change the angle, maybe we. We go change into negative 90 degree click on apply. Yeah, we want it to be like this. And then you can click on OK. All right, for this uh, half millions, you have to change also. Go to half corporate millions and perpendicular to face, we change to parallel to ground. And then click on apply. And yeah, we have our, uh, our perfect half corporate millions. And you can click on OK. All right, so. Basically, right now, our corporate elements here is on the slope raising. We want it, again, we want it to um, to connect it to our ceiling, below down our ceiling. So what we need to do is that, again, we are going to use the section here. So we go to view, click on the section, and click here to here. And then we go double click here. And yeah, we are going to um to transfer this corporate millions to below under our our ceiling. So we go up here, we measure first this one, fill this one. Alright, we have five hundred millimeter, and then you can click on the corporate millions and then change the base offset it into negative five hundred, and then you click on apply, and then we have our corporate elements connected to our city. All right, for again, we go back to our level two. All right, so go to architecture tab here. We are going to draw again the slope raising so that we can have uh, another side of our corporate elements. Let me click here, click here. All right, it's not perfect yet. Yes, again, uh, loop, slope raising, and then we go for rectangular tools here, and we go from endpoint until this endpoint, 
and then make sure that you uh, you undefine the slopes and then you click on this finish edit mode. Alright, so we have our uh, slope grazing again. You click on this slope grazing. We go to edit that here. Duplicate. Alright, so I'm going to rename it as the corporate ceiling 2. Okay, and the curtain panel, we are going to use the empty system panel. And for the grid 2 layout here, change it into maximum spacing. And we are going to have the 800 sizes. And the grid 2 mullions, the interior type, we are going to use the full corporate mullions and both. Uh, corner we are going to use the half of a mullet. Okay, click on here and you click on it. So our pop of is uh is uh, appeared here. So again go to level one, click on this section here, change the position of our uh proper elements uh to connect on this link. So you can click on this. Um, slope grazing corporate ceiling 2 and you change here into negative 500 and then click on apply. So, yeah, if we go into the 3D, so we can see our corporate uh, millions right here, right? So, uh, okay, never mind, I'll just delete the one, one uh, wall for you so that we can see it clearly. Okay, oh, yes, so that is uh, the way of on how we can create a few types of uh, ceiling in Revit. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy my free online lesson for today. So if you um, so if you like our our free online lesson, free online lesson for today, and if you want to uh, join more on the uh maybe you want to join more on other topics of our free online lesson uh you can go to our website here acatsystems.com with s and then when we you go scroll down below here here we have few topics on the upcoming uh, online lessons okay so uh, on the next week we will be having the uh on the inventor software and also the rabbit software. So also uh if you maybe you are you want to rewatch again our our video for our online lesson for today you can go to our YouTube channel which is the Acad Systems member hack and then here okay and then here we can find you can find your Alright, so here we can you can find your uh, we can you can find the video that we already we did just now. So if you have uh maybe you want to watch uh, other topics so you you just can watch in here. And yep, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So uh you guys uh is there any questions so far before we end our poll? Alright, chat three. Alright, okay. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy for enjoy our free online lesson for today. And I hope to, to see you guys soon in our free online lessons in the future. Uh, and thank you and bye-bye.